What's up guys, here back with another video. This is gonna be an oil change on my uh, Gen 2 Ford Raptor. This is a 2018 model. Uh, Ford usually recommends every 10,000 uh, mile interval oil change, but I like to do mine every 5,000. Um, the products I'm gonna be using uh, for the oil filter, I'm gonna be going with the AMS oil. I've really seen a lot of uh, YouTube videos on this, comparing this one with all the, you know, all the other best ones that are out there. And this one just really comes out on top. I just really like it. Uh, I use it on my other vehicles as well. As far as the oil filter, I mean, I'm sorry, as far as the oil, I'm going to be using the AMS Oil Signature Series, full synthetic 530. Uh, same thing, just seen a bunch of videos on YouTube on this stuff, and it just it really comes out on top. So let's get to it, guys. Also going to be showing you guys how do I, uh, as you guys know, these are notorious for, you know, when you take the oil pan, the oil pan drain bolt, all the oil comes all over the skid plate and all this and that. I have, I have a nice little trick, a little tip that I use, and I'm going to show you guys to, you know, to avoid uh, making a big old mess. So let's get to it, guys. The little thing that I like to do here, guys, before I drain the oil, obviously pop the hood open. I like to leave this, uh, the oil cap, where you filter the oil, where you put the oil in through. I like to leave that open just so all the oil can get out, you know, so it can breathe, and as also the uh, oil dipstick. I uh, just leave it hanging right here, but it's just, you know, so everything can drain out. So first thing you're gonna wanna do, you know, you're gonna wanna remove uh, it has three 10 millimeter bolts, the one, two, and three. So let's take those off. Okay, so once you have that off, you're going to be able to see the oil pan drain bolt, which is right, which is right there, this bolt right here, that's the oil pan drain bolt. And this is a late model 2018 production, so it doesn't have the plastic oil uh, pan or the oil or the plastic oil drain bolt, so it's... I've heard a lot of the other ones, you know, they just tend to break and really cheap quality. Uh, the size for the uh, drain bolt is a 15 millimeter. So go ahead and remove that. Deep socket preferably it makes it easier. Oh shit! Go ahead and loosen the bolt just to where you can loosen it with your hand. So now I can move with my hand. A little trick that I like to use to not get any spillage anywhere. It's literally just a paper plate, like from a party or you know, you go to go to a party. That's literally all it is. You put that in here and you put it far enough back to where when the oil starts stripping out, just roll it up like a little taco. You know, obviously it has to be angled. And this has to be done beforehand, because obviously when the oil's draining, you're not gonna wanna get it in there because it's gonna make a big old mess. But you see, I have it in there, I have it rolled up like a taco, and now that I can move it just with my hands and screw the drain bolt, then you just hold it for a little bit because it's gonna be pretty heavy here. Just like that. And then you just hold the plate here for a little bit. And maybe you can let it go. See if it's not too heavy yet. As you can see, there's my plate. And it's just all draining on there. And then this is where this is where it really comes in handy. It stops to come out. Or as the oil starts to drain, you get less and less. And then this is where you get all that oil spillage on your skid plate and all that. But we're not gonna have that problem here because we have that little plate and it's gonna avoid all that mess. So let's just let that drain, then we'll take off the oil filter. So now that it's all drained out, okay, so now that it's all drained out, as you can see, 
that plate is just dripping out and all of it's just coming down off the plate here because it's just it's at an angle the way it's folded up like a taco it's at an angle and there's no mess there's no oil on any of the, the skid plates down here usually they drip out all this hole out of these holes right here so it was a clean job but that's my little tip on what i use to not make a nice to not make a, a mess so now you just grab your drain bolt make sure you put your new gasket on there See, it just hits it from the top and it just strips all the way down on here. No mess. Clean it up over here a little bit. All ready to tighten it back up. That should be good enough. Now you put your little flat back on. So the next step is going to obviously be the oil filter. You want to take off this little flap here on the uh, skid plate. Uh, the size is a T40. It's a star bit. Alright, so once you have that cover off, that's gonna be your oil filter right there. Mine's a little muddy, but it shouldn't be too hard to take off. So let's take that off next. Okay, so I didn't show it on the videos, but I loosened up my oil filter. Uh, you're just gonna to wanna to put the oil pan, one oil drain pan, over here where this little hole is. That's where all the oil is gonna drain out of. On my oil filter. And then you wanna put that plate again, right over here where the uh, with the guide is for the oil filter because you are still going to get some drippage right here and you don't want to get all over your skid plate because it's going to become a big old mess. Probably going to need two drain pans like I have here. Put that there. I'm going ahead and remove your oil filter. Just like that. There's the rest of it. It looks like we didn't make that much of a mess there. So luckily not too much came out of the oil filter up here. But as you can see there's some oil dripping right there. I let it drain really good so that's why I uh, I believe I don't have any oil dripping out of that little guide there. But if you, you know, if you just put your plate there and it'll just all drip on back on down here. And it'll be good to go. Avoid making a mess. And I just like to lubricate this right here this little gasket just lubricate it up put some oil in there maybe a little right here on the threads and now it's ready to be screwed on there filter back on put your oil filter back on now And for me, I just like to hand tight it. That's all you're gonna need. That's why it was kind of easy for me to uh, remove it. That's how I did it last time. Obviously not loose, loose. You know, just get your hand in there until it doesn't spin anymore. And that's it. Now you're just gonna wanna put your little cover back on. I do have a little oil cash can here, so we're just gonna go ahead and take this out as well. Which we do. You just dip it on your. You're gonna throw it on your little. 
Throw it in there. Now the last thing obviously is just put the oil in the motor. I like to use a little funnel here just to not make a mess. Just put that there. Alright guys, if you just that's pretty much it. If you just want to double check your dipstick here, just to make sure it's good, your oil level's proper, which as we can see right here, it's right where it's supposed to be. Right on like six quarts. Alright guys, thanks for watching.